I welcome everyone to the worship service to our Father God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, you know, Father God still is looking for someone who worship him in spirit and in truth. Born again Christian only can worship the God because God is spirit. And also in truth means our heart should be pure before his presence, okay? All right, before you hear the sermon, as usual, I like to the read the book of Psalm, chapter 23, to meditate the words of God. If the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, today's um, main scripture is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, uh, verse 26 through 31. It's very well-known words, okay? Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 through 31. And let me read for you, okay? And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion of the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing and which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth and to the every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherewith there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good, and the evening and the morning was the sixth day. Now, today's you know, topic is about the family of God, family of God. You know, God planned, you know, to put all his families in heavens and the earth, okay, in New Jerusalem. Okay, this is his master plan, almost to be done in the future, okay? To hear this message, you will find out what kind of time frame of our Father God is going to be fulfilled. 
As you read, the Lord God made man in the sixth day after he had created all things in the earth. And he spoke of the purpose of making man and blessing, blessed him and said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion of the fish of the sea and of the fowl of the air and of everything that moves upon the earth. That means Lord God appointed man as the king, giving him a reigning power over the earth on behalf of Father God. King David, a psalmist, testified of this, remembering first man and woman. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man, that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou made him to have a dominion of the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yeah, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. He praised the name of the Lord. Yeah. Remembering the time before man sinned, when man reigned all things in the earth to glorify the Father God, King David made such prayer unto God, and at the same time, he saw the Lord Jesus Christ coming in the form of Adam, in the spirit, and he shall take away the sin of the world to regenerate man. That means to make man born again of the Holy Spirit and shall restore all things as them before man sinned. And King David also foresaw the Lord Jesus Christ who shall reign in the restored earth with this church, exactly as Eve was with Adam gloriously. Even though man lost the image of God and his likeness and all things within have been under death and cursed because of sin that was brought forth by the Lucifer that sinned against God before the foundation of the world, is the devil, the Lord God had a planned to send his begotten son, only begotten son, to judge the devil and take away the sin and death and curse to restore man together with all things in the earth and in heavens. Before the first man sinned, the Lord God gave all man blessing to be the family of God, making Adam as the head of, the, head of man but the devil that sinned in the beginning broke the relationship of the first husband and wife to take away the blessing of God's family and the permission of God until the devil is to be destroyed as testified by the scriptures. The purpose of God is to destroy the devil, okay? You must understand that. Before the first man sinned, he was a king, right? But now, lost all kind of reigning power, right? Okay, since the blessing of God's family was broken, our enemy, the devil, has been destroying the relationship of family for 6,000 years. The devil divided between Cain and Abel to be resulted in murder in the family for the first time. Cain killed his brother Abel since then, the wickedness of man has been filled in the world, as you see. 
finally, God couldn't help destroying all men with the flood, only saving the family of Noah, as you see. Eight, eight souls were saved, right? In the ark. All right, after the Lord God destroyed all men that had lived thousand years since Adam, God gave the same covenant unto Noah and his family, the same as one given unto Adam. And he said to Noah, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the, the earth, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl with the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. After that another thousand years has passed by, God called Abram to give the word of promise unto him, and he said to him, and I make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. It is, you know, covenant given to Abraham. Somebody born again of the Holy Spirit, the same kind of blessing as the children of Abraham. So if somebody curse you, he will curse him. Somebody bless you, as many people bless you, God will bless them all. It is a promise unto Abraham and people of Israel and as well as unto the church of God. The Lord God spoke of the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall appear as the seed of Abraham to give eternal life unto them The believe in him. Apostle Paul testified of Christ Jesus, who appeared as the seed of Abraham and said, that means God promised Abraham he will be, he will be incarnated, become a man in the bloodline of Abraham, okay? That's why Jesus Christ is called the seed of Abraham. Apostle Paul testified of Christ Jesus, okay, as a seed of Abraham. He said, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, hang on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promise made. He says not, and to seize, no seize, okay, S-E-E-T-S, no S-E-E-T-S, not plural, but as of many, okay, but as of one, a seed, and to thy seed, which is Christ. In other words, through the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall appear as a seed of Abraham, the Lord God planned to restore all the families in the earth as he gave the covenant unto Adam and Noah, but until time is fulfilled. The scheme of the devil to destroy the families of man has been never stopped, as you know, the hatred between Isaac, Ishmael, remember, right? And Sarah, the wife of Abraham, and Hagar is a servant of Sarah, right? And Jacob and Esau, two children of Isaac, right? And also the children of Jacob, right? And Joseph versus his other brothers, and so on. Still now. Still now, you know, family is divided. And they fight to one another, right? 
That's what we have been hearing, right? All right, in addition to the relationship of families, but also the wars have been never stopped between nation and nation, and people and people, and tribes and tribes, and so on. When Jesus spoke of the end of the world, he mentioned about the things to happen when the ruling of the devil is ended, and Jesus is to rule the world as the king of kings and lord of laws. Jesus said like this, listen very carefully. And you shall hear of words and rumors of words. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and a kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquake, right? Earthquake and hail and snow, tornado, is kind of instrument of God to judge the world, okay? You hear the news of earthquake 7.9, right? Over there, you know, people just persecuted, Christian, burning their body, you know, yes. That through this earthquake, God make a collapse, the temple of their God, okay? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to the afflicted, and it shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Now in tribulation, okay, it will come to pass. All the nations rise up to attack Israel because they hate it, have been hating Israel so far, even now, right? The Apostle Paul testified, God has made of one blood all nations of men, but dwell on all the face of the earth, and determined at the times before appointed, and the bounds of their inhabitations, that they should seek the Lord. But even though all men have been born with one blood of Adam, they have not been able to live as one family because of the sin within the blood. Actually, the other word, in other words, within our DNA. Thirteen kinds of wicked sins, you know, located inside of DNA of all men and women because of the sin of Adam. The Lord God has chosen Israel as his people. He had opened a way to be one, whether the Jew or Gentile, through believing on the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul testified of this truth unto the people in Ephesus. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall or partition between us having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself a two twine, one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And it came and preached peace to you, which were far, far off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have accept, both means in our Jews and Gentiles, okay? By one spirit unto the Father, because believe in Jesus Christ. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints. The saints means Jewish people and of the household of God, we became the family of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. All our sins taken away by the blood of Jesus Christ, whether Jew or Gentile, whether Korean or Japanese, American, doesn't matter. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, 
Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed. Yes, the members of Church of God, okay, is a family, one family. Even though our last name is so different to one another, actually our blood type is no more A or B or O or AB, no. Spiritually, our blood type is J probably, okay? All right. And also, in Korean, our last name became Ha. Ha means representative, Hananin, right? Instead of Kim and Park or whatever, Lee, you know, it doesn't matter. Spiritually, we are one family. It's very important. We have to remember. Must be born again. Even the members of church, you know, not born again, of the Holy Spirit cannot belong to the family of God. Apostle Paul also testified of the family of God unto the saints in Rome, and he said unto them, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Greek means all the Gentiles, just like Korean, Japanese, right? Other than Jews, all called Gentiles. For therein is the righteousness of God, revealed from the faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Only God asking us to do, to give is, the, you know, faith, because Jesus done everything to take away our sin and death and curse, right, on the cross. He rose again, he gave us the Holy Spirit. And that, and that received, you know, righteousness of God. Our righteousness, it's just like, you know, filthy cloth, all right? Even though we wash it, steel cloth, filthy cloth. Yeah, to restore the family as well as nation and tribes of people, there is only one way to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, which took away the sin and death and curse through his blood to be one body, to be the family of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ will judge all the nations of people that not believe in him in the war of Armageddon, and he will come to the land of Palestine where, he, where the first man, Adam, failed sinning against God, and to bring forth sin and death and curse in the Garden of Eden. You know, first man put all those things, you know, to, to the earth. And he will reign, Jesus Christ will reign in all the earth as the king of kings and lord of lords. The Lord God chose the remnant of Israel as the people of priests to make them head of all the nations in the time of millennium, thousand years of reigning kingdom by Jesus Christ. Let them return to the land of Palestine, not leaving any one of them. Prophet Amos prophesies of this. And I will plant them, the people of Israel, upon their land in Palestine, right? And they shall no more be pulled off, pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, says the Lord thy God. Thousand, thousand years before, you know, he just prophesied. As he, he said that, right? He prophesied, he, prophesied, he prophesied that 1948, some of them returned to their holy land, right? As you see, and now occupied half of the land of Jerusalem. It's a matter of time before they occupy whole Palestine as God promised to Abraham, their ancestor. It's given by God. And when the Lord Jesus Christ come in his glory, before him shall be gathered all nations, 
and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the gods. The nation of a sheep is the one that gave mercy unto Israel in the midst of the great tribulation, as said by Jesus Christ. And Jesus said unto them, the people of a sheep, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yes, they shall be blessed to enter the millennium kingdom in the earth together with the remnant of Israel. It will be done when time comes. Now, the church of God, including our church, shall reign with Christ as the joint heir with them as Eve. Eve was the bride of Adam, right? Adam was king and Eve was queen. The church of God, just like Eve. The Jesus Christ is just like Adam. That's why Jesus Christ is called last Adam. No more sinful Adam, right? In the restored the earth for a thousand years. The church of God shall dwell in the new Jerusalem forever with the Christ that is the eternal husband as the eternal family of God the Father. Therefore, the members of church of God, that is the family of him, has to purify soul through obeying the truth that is was of God, through the Spirit, and to unfeigned love of brethren, loving one another with a pure heart formally. That's the reason we have to love make unfeigned love okay real love all our heart we are, the, we are we are family to live forever in the new jerusalem unless somebody born again the holy spirit cannot love to one another no way still the sins inside of them but born again christian all the sins taken away by the by the by the lord and feel as you know with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is the first one is in love, right? And as Apostle John testified, we have to purify ourselves as he is pure. Jesus is no sin. Jesus Christ is pure, our husband. As Apostle Paul encouraged it, we have to seek those things which are above, setting our affections on things above. No more affection on things in the earth anymore. And to be prepared to appear with Jesus Christ in glory in the day of Christ. That means in the day of rapture. I bless all of you having this kind of hope. Day by day, cleanse your soul, your body with the precious words of God, to appear gloriously, not shamefully, before Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you, Father. You're working 6,000 years, just like six days, to restore your family, O oh Father God. To destroy the devil, you have endured 6,000 years until your families to live in earth and heavens to appear, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your waiting with endurance until we believe in you. We also believe there should be so many people still left not to be saved. That's why you call all of us to preach the gospel. Wherever we go, go to school, our, our working place, wherever we go, we are supposed to preach the gospel, to invite people, invite the souls to your family, to your kingdom. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen.